let me talk about specifically for the people that are uh, considering locating or installing a battery energy storage system. Uh, it is important for you, if you are gonna have one of these facilities, if, uh, to know the kind of hazards that you will you bring uh, uh, along with it. One of them, for instance, is a thermal hazard. You would like to know how far and how hot could it get so that you know if uh, the, the rest of the assets in place are in jeopardy. You wanna know how, how strong that blast is, is gonna come and if that challenges in any way the things that you have in place around it. We did a very simple treatment for congestion. Congestion in this context is anything, any, any physical object that will be there inside uh, and will have an interaction with the flame front. It is well known that the more congestion, the more objects, physical objects, the flame has to interact with, the faster it will go, the quicker it will convert the fuel from chemical energy into thermal energy. And that helps a lot to generate a strong blast. We decided to test two different levels of congestion. One was empty, devoid of anything other than the instruments themselves, and uh, congested with dummies or just boxes so that the flame now have something to interact with. Let me now show you one of the actual test specimens that we use in this program. What we have here is a shipping container that has been fitted with wooden boxes. These wooden boxes are here to mimic or mock what a battery rack looks like and they provide a surface, uh, an object to, for the flame to interact with and accelerate. When these uh, boxes or uh, bodies interact with the flame, you will get uh, acceleration on that uh, frame front and also a stronger shock coming out of here. What we learn is that uh, it makes a very stark difference when the flame has something to interact with, the blast that you measure out of that container is much stronger. 